Hello and welcome back to another episode of Nova Arcana. Uh, in this episode we're going to carry on with the Verde Passage, so I believe this makes it episode 6 part 2. Uh, and we will continue in episode 6 until we complete the Verde Passage. Uh, in between episodes all I did was come up here and it's actually not been very long for me in between the two episodes. Uh, all I did was come up here, kind of sort out my inventory and get everything ready. So hopefully we can take on this dungeon without too much trouble and or carry on with this dungeon without any kind of unnecessary level of trouble. <laughs> I have a feeling the trouble is inevitable to some extent. Um, my dog is suddenly very keen to speak to me after not being at all interested until I started recording, of course. So hopefully he moves on. Otherwise, I may have to pause and uh, take him outside or something. Um, but yeah, last time we had a little bit of trouble with this area and lots and lots of creepers. Uh, I'm hoping that that is not the case this time, but I imagine it may well be. And. I haven't blocked that off, but I have lit it up a bit. Uh, and if we come down here, this is a little bit of a shortcut into the area that we were heading towards last time. So we went a little bit to the left and got dive bombed by creepers multiple times and murdered. And you can see that's where one of our deaths was. Um, but hopefully we've gone far enough that way that creepers won't come up behind us. And now it is all about getting in here and Hopefully, hopefully, uh, managing to to kind of uh, make some progress in this area. So I do know that there is a skeleton spawner up there, and they appear to have punch. Because, and if they do not have punch, the skeletons are just very overpowered. Let's get rid of these spawners. And we have books medium. Well, books medium is not any use for us until we have an anvil. So hopefully we get some iron soon. Um, I am going to heal up. Unfortunately, I think I may just die here. <laughs> Oof, that got a little bit hairy, but hopefully we can survive. Uh, more creep, more spiders. I don't think I looked at that Enderman, but you never know. I don't know how like long you have to look at an Enderman before it triggers, but uh, I imagine it's every tick. You never know. Right, okay. We're kind of okay. Uh, we're not doing great, but we could be doing worse. Um, how do we get rid of that crafting menu? Is that one? So we've got a little bit of resistance and a little bit of absorption left. Although obviously, actually, we have no absorption left, even though we still have the effect. Uh, let's clear out this final skeleton. And. I said I was always going to go to the right, so I'm going to keep going to the right, uh, but I'm glad we've kind of lit that up a bit, and it does seem like that river work goes somewhere. Of course, we try and hit something, and instead we just break some leaves. I think this spider spawner might be disabled now with all those torches, but let's break it anyway. And I may come to regret having broken that those two skeleton spawners, but uh, I think I was at too much risk of death 
to do anything else. I hope you cannot hear my dog going crazy in the background, but my sincerest apologies. My uh, recording stopped because I ran out of disk space. I've been doing a pretty good amount of mapping recently, um, and for those of you who don't know, the MMS, aka the Map Making Mega Server, which is probably the easiest way to handle plugins and stuff. Uh, Okay, A, I think we've looped back on ourselves, and B, I think I'm lost. And I've also started lagging and completely have lost control of my... There we go, let's come back. Uh, yeah, the MMS is the easiest way to manage plugins and stuff, and one of the things it does for you is it creates a backup automatically every time you close the server, which is very useful. Uh, however, it also backs up all the plugins in that server, and so even just a kind of normal installation will usually take about 200 meg per uh, backup and I had about 40 backups uh, in my folder sat on my SSD which I'm recording to and therefore could not could not really function uh, and ran out of disk space because this laptop does not have a very big SSD I'm resisting the urge to go back and recharge my mana at the um, monument, but it may become inevitable if I'm going to die here. Which I will die if I keep playing quite so badly. Okay, I don't know why he lost interest quite that quickly. Uh, I don't think I can go out there yet without... Um, more health and or mana. So what I will probably have to do is head back and recover. Uh, I don't think the mana system is unfair with how it limits your healing, but unfortunately if you're like not a very good player <laughs> and take a lot of unnecessary hits, it's very easy to run out of mana. So I will just quickly run back. Um, right, we're back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, didn't have too much inventory management to do, which is always good because uh, I do like to keep my inventory as clear as possible when I when I make those runs back to the monument. But um, the lack the lack of in inventory management probably indicates I haven't really made too much progress. Uh, we did manage to get into that kind of area again. You can probably hear my dog going mental on the floor. Uh, so we're going to go this way. I don't know if my right hand rule is uh, serving me too well just yet, but hopefully we... I mean, it keeps going. The areas keep going, so we haven't hit a dead end yet. And I do have more torches, thank you. Uh, I do not have much coal, so that is a problem, because apparently I didn't bring coal with me. Uh, my inventory management skills, I always seem to forget something. Um, let's light this up. I do not think there's anything here, but uh, amethyst, but that's fine. Would have been nice to have some coal in the dungeon. Uh, but that's mostly my fault for forgetting to bring any. And then also my fault for getting stuck in the cobwebs. Not once, but twice, but three times. There we go. And... I saw those chorus fruit and I kind of think that might be linked back to the bit we were overlooking with the fence, but um, kind of right near the start of the area, but I, but I couldn't actually see any of our torches from that fence uh, when I was running back, so okay. Uh, apparently we are somehow still alive. Uh, 
and I imagine that is a trapped chest. <laughs> it's definitely a trapped creeper. Uh, right, this is a just a chest, not a trap chest, so that's good. Um, but I think I'm in quite a bad spot because I can hear creepers dropping down, which means creepers are spawning. Uh, let's eat some mushroom stew and get that resistance. I'm going to make a break for it. Uh, I feel like I should maybe... This seems to be like a a circle around here. I feel like I should maybe... Ooh, what is that? Those signs might be useful. Uh, let's go and read those in a second, but I do want to kind of secure this area a bit first. I don't know what happened to those creepers that I saw, which is the, the scary thing. Yeah, there's the spawner. I should maybe go up on top of that area if I can. And I can. Uh, let's make sure we don't get dive bombed by too many more creepers at least. And let's spy what we can see. So we've opened up this area down below, so it might be worth trying to get down there. Uh, we, we've got that direction, which has signs, which is the main reason I want to go and see it. But um, yeah, not. And I, I need to check what's in that chest as well. And there are still some creepers floating around that I've lost track of, which is never good. Okay, so that guy died. He must have taken some fall damage or something. Let's try and... Let's try and secure this room, and then we will go down that way, because that is the right-hand way, but uh, I do need to check what those signs say, I think. I think that's going to be the best thing I can do, and I don't know where that creeper came from. But if we can manage to um, at least stop the spawn as close to the entrance or like yeah close to the entrance way to this path then uh, we can properly know that nothing's going to come from nothing's going to flank us basically I, ju I just need to secure one of these directions enough that i can go the other way i think uh i think we're not far off that so i'm going to retreat down here And this manor is useful, if nothing else, uh, just to get my self healed back up. And we've kind of hopefully shut down the spawners there, so I'm going to come this way. And I'm quite happy to just let creepers explode if they're going to. Um, not do me any damage and also clear some of this area because there's just so much stuff around. Are you lost? Are you lost? Okay, very, very useful. Very useful signs. Glad we came this way. 10 out of 10. Uh, I would have been really annoyed if I had blown those up without reading them, so I'm glad we have at least read them before I inevitably blow them up. And there are creepers following me, of course. Not one, but two. But thankfully we don't have to go that way because it's 
to the left and we don't go left we always go right uh, it's probably going to end up that that's the correct way to go but I'm going to stick with my rule of always going to the right um, however I may need to make a furnace and uh, do some torch crafting or something because I am out of torches and this is not a good area to not have torches in uh, let's use these last few torches up here and then I will think about possibly smelting up some of this jungle wood or any of the wood that I do have. There we go. Uh, so this way offered much less of a challenge than the, the other way seemed to, so at least we get to go the nice easy route. Uh, although this links back, which is terrible news, because <laughs> I think that means we're going to have to go to the left or down. Uh, as soon as I start linking back on myself, that's when I'm going to get lost. So I'm going to try and keep it relatively simple for myself to stay on track. And the next closest thing to going right is to go moving down the middle, I suppose. So we will do that. Or at least poke our heads down here to see if there is anything. goes our pickaxe. I should probably turn off F3, sorry. I, I switched that on to check whether the trap chest was there, uh, or whether a chest was trapped or not, and um, appear to have left it on so apologies for that for the for the section of the video that we've just watched um i'm sure hopefully it hasn't um i think i saw something spawning up there which is never good uh, like some spawner particles and i am out of torches completely uh, but we know where we're going next we're going down there which is good we have plotted our next path uh, I am going to probably craft up a furnace, but I want to do that from somewhere where I can't get surprise creepered, ideally. So I'm just going to see what's in here first. X marks the spot. I think I might have blown up any X's that there were here. Uh, I can't see any others. Let's just get rid of our hood for a second. Um, unless there was an X in the middle here and I blew it up, that's certainly possible. Because uh, I imagine that's a clue for, for something, but I'm not seeing any X. Uh, hmm. Right, let's get a furnace going. I should just run back and get torches, really. That's probably the sensible thing to do, but problem with doing that is that then I have to run back and get to it, and then I have to run back. And I've done a lot of running back and forth thus far this episode. So we will have to try and make 48 torches work. Uh, I will cut back. I am still smelting up more charcoal here, um, but I think we have enough to be you know, making a start with we've got a, just over a stack of torches, so um, I think we can we can begin to make a dent in that. The only thing I wonder is how many whether I should just chuck the jungle wood in there instead. Uh, yeah, I, I collected up some jungle wood just from around here and smelted some of that as well. There's still some more available, so if we do need more torches, we can get them fairly easily. 
And if we come down here, uh, you can probably hear my dog now banging his bone against my desk. <laughs> um, unideal recording scenario, uh, re recording environment, but it's much better than him chewing basically anything else, I guess. So. Thankfully, they're now fighting each other. So let's. I don't know if there's a spawner up there, but there probably is. Uh, I didn't mean to switch to axe combat, and I'm going to switch back to sword because I'm much more used to having the speed when I'm playing this map than anything else. Uh, this does look promising, though, because it is something different. Different is good. Different is also easier to not get lost in. And that was about eight skeletons, so <laughs> I'm going to run as fast as I can away from that. Okay, we did we did reasonably well there, not to completely die. And Unfortunately, Render is not trying to make it easy for us and is putting more and more creeper spawners above our heads. Uh, thankfully, at least that time I saw them. Let's do this. Yeah, this map has been very creeper heavy, which, I mean, so was Harbinger, so I can't really criticize it for that, but um, yeah. Lots and lots and lots of creepers. I know that creeper is there. I'll deal with him. It was a bit of a risk to <laughs> to let him stand there rather than kill him first, but um, I wanted to get rid of the spawner, so hopefully now we can slightly more safely come down here. And this looks promising. Promising does not mean necessarily that we're going the right way, but and we found more of these moss chargers. It's been a while since we've seen some, any of these though, so... And they seem to have knockback resistance, which is particularly dastardly of them. Let's get some light there before... before one of those w winds. Why? Th oh, am I just getting? I think I can't tell if I'm just getting hugely unlucky with these skeletons because there just seem to be so many. Unfortunately, I think that skeleton had already. Oh, that creeper had already aggroed on me because otherwise he would have dealt with some of the skeletons, and he did deal with those skeletons. So that that is very good news. Uh, I need to retreat and heal up somewhat. I really like the the structure of this. Uh, it looks it looks cool. It's a good way to add to an area when you um if you just stack layers on top of each other. As long as you don't do too many of them and they're and they're reasonably small in themselves, um I find it's a really good way of like adding like verticality and and quickly making areas kind of more interesting and better without that much work because um, you've only got to build one layer of it and then all it, the rest of it is just about eroding and, and adding some variety to each layer okay I I'm going to die
Oof, that was close. Yeah, trying to talk about level design and then immediately becoming almost like almost immediately becoming dead is a it's maybe not the thing I should be doing in this playthrough, but it's where we are. Uh, and I don't know how effectively I can retreat either. And why is he hit? How is he still hitting me? <laughs> there we go. Uh, ugh, I thought I could get in and I thought I could get in and block it off, but unfortunately, these fast mobs meant that, that wasn't really an option. Uh, you don't know what to do. Um, I don't know how long I've been recording for. I don't really want to end the episode there though, so um, but I do need to re-gear and in fact let's just break this bed and grab all of this stuff because uh, I need to re-gear nothing in here really, not particularly uh, I will just take this back up to the top and then I'll probably end the episode there f for this one uh, as I said, I don't actually know how long I've been recording. I've been recording for 21 minutes in this second session, but uh, because of the running out of disk space to record with, uh, I don't know how long that first section was. Um, but that is going to be it from me for now. Uh, in between episodes, I will re-gear and get ready to uh, take on or get back to where we were. I think I should be able to get my stuff relatively easily because I can dig down to that and I'll know exactly where it is. Uh, it's always a, a worry because if I die again, I will lose everything I had. But I didn't have I didn't have too much, so you know we don't need to worry too much about it either. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.